This is the Honda Civic EK, which is called K8 in Taiwan. Hello everyone, I'm Celsius. Nice to meet you here again. Today I would like to discuss with you this Honda Civic 6th generation. This car was my dream car. When I was a young man, I saw this car and I love this car. It has a very sharp exterior with front and rear four-wheel double wishbone. And this car has good handling and a very funny car. However, I was too poor to afford this car. Thanks God, this car got very cheap now in the second-hand market. And I bought one, and not only even one, I bought two Honda Civic EK. It is a very funny car, and it is four-door sedan, but with certain sporty utility. I like this car so much, so today I would like to show you why I love this car. Actually, the EK is only the minor change for the EG. That represents it is not fully minor change from the 5th generation to 6th generation. But there are many improvements for the 6th generation. Very much because the EG was designed in the bubble economic in Japan. There are many significant but not very useful design for the fifth generation. The sixth generation, when they got a design in 1991, they thought, okay, the Japan may get a very big problem in economy. So they would like to make this car more family more useful other than the fifth generation so they improve many problems from the fifth generation for example the headlamp we see the headlamp for the ek the ek headlamp got very big we call it big eye in taiwan it got very impressive when you see it you never forget this headlamp it is too impressive and second it got very big headlamp, so it improved a lot of the lightning. If you ever drive the Honda Civic EG, you will find it. Okay, you can see many things in the night. But with the EK, you can see many things in the night. Second, we have the front grille in this generation. When you see the last generation, uh, the fifth generation Honda Civic, there is no front grille. It is grilleless. The Honda said they got a new technology for the uh, indicator for the intercooler and they don't have to design this front grille for the air intake. But they didn't know that the weather will get hotter hotter every year. So if you want to buy the fifth generation Honda Civic, please improve your air intake at very first but there is not a big problem for the sixth generation because we got a front grille also we got the damper right here so it is a great improvement for this generation and this at the side there is also improvement for the doorknob the fifth generation honda civic got a very interesting design when you open the door but it is not good for the nail. It is not very easy to open it and it's easy to broken. The sixth generation have made improvements here. It turns to the traditional design. However, it's still broken often. <laughs> this car is my car. I couldn't remember how many times that I changed this doorknob uh, when I, after I bought it many many times okay the tail lamp is still improved a lot uh, for this generation it got enlarged maybe i think maybe just 150 percent there's an, another problem for the fifth generation tail lamp that is not easy to rec recognize uh when evening but this generation we gotta enlarge it no matter the brake lamp no matter the ignition lamp and now we can see this car's tail lamp i got some option uh actually the trunk is not a standard 
as well as this Honda Civic 6 generation. I changed this trunk to Honda Dumani. What's Honda Dumani? Okay, this name is used in Taiwan. It, actually, it's named from the Acura E-Aero, which is, is sold in Canada. The Taiwan ever imported the Honda Domani around 1998 uh, and imported from Canada. I think the tail lamp is more gorgeous. So when I met the Honda Domani in the broken car yard, I, like, I, I made the change for my Honda Civic. And I think this car was, looks more uh, gorgeous. When the tail, when when we see the tail, okay, that's their improvement at the exterior. Suddenly, it got a more uh, luxury style in the exterior. The exterior style is different from the last generation, the fifth generation. They're totally different, and there are a lot of improvement in the interior. Let's take a look about that. At very first, we got traditional design for the power window switch the fifth generation got very um, designed for a power window switch but not useful this generation it got traditional one and i think it's easy to approach the second we got many places to take our small parts such like cell phones such like our uh, keys a lot of small things we can put everywhere but there's not so many friendly uh, box months not so many rooms for this small parts in fifth generation uh, certainly I understand that uh, when 1990s there's not so much cell phone but we still got some keys some changes some papers we have to store but there's not much space designed for those small parts in last generation. But there are many uh, in this generation. I think it's very good improvements. And what else? Uh, we got a speedometer in traditional style. The fifth generation, we got the zero at the nine o'clock. That represents when you drive to 100 and uh, the speedometer will show an at 2 o'clock, which will make you very happy. Uh, however, uh, when 6th generation, you get the uh, traditional design, and when we drive to 100, uh, it's just close to 12 o'clock, not as happy as the 5th generation they offer. But I think this is easy to rec recognize. Okay, um, there's a big problem for the 6th generation, the air cooler. The air cooler is uh, the air condition. The, this place is easy to broken, and the fifth generation got the same problem as well. Okay, and now we see it is uh, it is high level trim right here. Certainly, this car is the basic manual transmission. You shouldn't get this high high level trim. Uh, it was changed uh, in the broken car yard certainly. And we got a different level in Taiwan. Uh, as I know, there is CX, LX, EX, DX in North America or in Canada. But there are different levels. The very first entry level is LEI. That's represent the five speed manual transmission. And the, the basic level for the automatic is called LXI. And we got the most uh, expensive automatic called VTI. The V represents the VTEC. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, the, here in Taiwan, we get VTEC with automatic. If you choose the, if you choose the manual transmission, there's no VTEC. That's interesting. And what else? This generation, we got just four-door sedan with manual transmission only 1996. It is not very popular in Taiwan because people think we should drive a automatic cars as well as it looks like more gorgeous. Okay, so this manual transmission Honda Civic, it just offered for the uh, taxi drivers. Well, certainly, if you are not a taxi driver, you can buy the manual transmission 6th generation Honda Civic sedan in Taiwan, but not very popular. Uh, people say their 
just only uh, maybe 600 manual transmission, sixth generation, uh, four door sedan made in Taiwan. But I I don't know the exactly figure is correct or wrong. I don't know. But we still got uh, the three door hatchback called CV3, and it got the manual transmission and automatic transmission from very first to the last. Okay, this car got. Uh, four wheel double wishbone. Uh, it got very sharp in handling, very interesting when you're driving. But there is a problem that the rear seat is not very big. For my for my size, it is not very friendly for me to sit in at the back seat. Okay, and there's not very big for the trunk because the double wishbone. That's why the Nissan Sentra used the not so complicated uh, suspension design however this car still got very sharp when i driving uh, no matter it got very poor in this engine the taiwan only made 1.6 engine a uh, 1.6 liter engine uh, without vtec we got 112 horsepower with vtec we got a 127 horsepower uh, which is not very big. Uh, the the B sixteen A is not shown in Taiwan. Uh, I have no idea if there is uh, maybe the American got a coupe SI maybe got a bigger horsepower. I, I have no idea. We got a very very sm uh, very few American import. Sixth generation Honda Civic in Taiwan. I never drove. I never drove it, so I don't know the detail. This car is Taiwan domestic made uh, Honda Civic. We call it K8. That's very interesting because the fifth generation we call it K6. The fourth generation Honda Civic we call it K4. As well as we call the fourth generation Honda Accord K5, the fifth generation Honda Accord K7. That's very interesting. And even till now, uh, the latest uh, Honda Civic 11th generation was imported to Taiwan. But people won't count it K what because it is too complex. The Taiwan has many history for the Civic. Since 1977, we start to produce this car in Taiwan. The first generation and the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh generation. And the second generation, they got some problem with Taiwan Honda and uh, Japan Honda. And then they broke up. And later, the Japan Honda uh, established the Taiwan Honda again in maybe 2002 or three, uh, I'm not remember the exactly year. And later they produced the eighth generation Honda Civic and the ninth generation. But it doesn't sell well after the ninth generation. So the 10th generation Honda Civic is not officially uh, imported or produced in Taiwan. Now uh, we got uh, import the 11th generation uh, from Japan since last year that called 2023 and it's very expensive now we see this car was produced in Taiwan the basic manual transmission Honda Civic four-door sedan it just cost less than uh, less than uh, 500,000 Taiwan dollars but if you bought the latest uh, Honda Civic imported from Japan Maybe it is uh, e half. Uh, you got a hybrid, you got a lot of equipment, but very expensive. It costs 1.4 million Taiwan dollars. Whoa, it's very expensive. Certainly, uh, the Taiwan dollars is totally different from 30 years till now. But the latest Honda Civic, it is a kind of civic use car. I, I got a doubt about that. It becomes a very luxury, very expensive cars. Okay, if I got one one point four million Taiwan dollars, I think I won't buy the Honda cars. I may buy a, a Volvo or a Volkswagen. Okay, remember the Volkswagen in Taiwan is import car. It's not domestic car. So we think it is uh, is important. Uh, it is import car. Okay, if we 
if we get more than a million Taiwan dollar, we may not to buy this uh, small sedan from Honda. So I like this car so much. I bought two of this Honda Civic in my store, in, in, in my house. I like to drive it. It is got very interesting when driving and it got very good at the fuel consumption. Also, it just required the 92 uh, gasoline. Uh, according to my record, I ever drive it in the highway just one liter for 18.9 kilos. It is very economy. I like this car so much. And the, the parts is easy to find and this car is not very hard to maintain it didn't cost it, it doesn't cost it i like this car so much so today i would like to show you my honda civic sixth generation if you would like to get the double wishbone this car is a very economic choice i so recommend okay i'm so sure thanks for your watching hope to see you again soon bye bye